All right, folks. What's the name of the place, Donnie? Southern Comfort Homes. Comfort Homes. Southern Comfort Homes here uh, in Darlington, South Carolina, is a big dis uh, seller of... Turn around and shoot that way, Ronnie. That's the Darlington Motor Speedway right there. Yeah, there's the Darlington Motor Speedway for all you NASCAR fans. You well know that track. We're right across the street. This place sells mobile homes, and they sell new ones, you're looking at there. Uh, and then they, they repo them and they get trade-ins. So what happens is they've got about half the lot here is used mobile homes. So it's kind of interesting to come look. Uh, we just did a video on our channel of a brand new double wide that they have up there on the front. If you didn't see that, go back and check it out. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you a used mobile home. This is one that they traded in probably, or it was a repo. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna check it out and just see uh, what what the difference is from that previous one. This is more our speed. We can't afford that other one. Yeah, the other one we think was probably about a two hundred thousand dollar mobile home. It's a double wide. Now this one, Donnie, what year would you estimate this thing is? I don't know. I would say two thousand. The problem I, that I found with trying to estimate these these vinyl siding ones, these double wides. Yeah. They was the same from like 80 all the way up to 2000. You can't tell. Yeah. It, it has a metal roof on it that someone added. So That's not original. That might mean that it's from the 80s. Yeah. With that metal roof. So I don't know. So it's had a metal roof installed. And it did originally have vinyl siding because you can see there's a little piece missing on the side here. And there's just two by fours behind it. So we're going to go inside this thing. Uh, they're basically, they will sell you this and come set it up for you and everything. Now, obviously, they can move them because that's their business. They're in the business of selling them and installing them and picking up your old one. So uh, they move them around the lot here a little bit. We did videos previously on a couple of them. But um, they've got this one set up and with steps on it. So basically, they want people to come out here and look look at them and then try to buy it from them. So um, we're going to go inside and see what kind of condition it's in and just show you what a used mobile home Um looks like now how much would this thing cost to set up donnie it costs you about uh 10 to twelve thousand in our area now i've heard it costs as much as fifty thousand if you want them to do the steps and the grading and all that kind of stuff hook up the water hook up the, the septic if, yeah if you do everything a lot of times they're way up there but if you just have them move it out there it's about eight to ten thousand so they'll move it out and before they leave they block it up and get it level and basically get it combined right um this particular one since we're outside they have the vinyl ending at a transition strip which makes it a little easier for them to set up a lot of them are not like that a lot of them what they do is they leave the vinyl off in the middle and then you have to put it back on to cover the gap but this particular one has transition strips at the end um, probably means it's been moved more than once. Yeah, so it's it's basically they probably cut the vinyl whenever they moved it. Um, but whenever they drop it off, bare bones, they will at least block it up and get it level for you. So, um, so let's go inside and see what kind of condition it's in. Somebody's lived in this thing for quite a while, and it's here towards the front of their of their uh, place. We'll look inside on the toilet and some stuff to see if we can figure out the date. Now, it's, it's worth mentioning because people are going to ask. They have this single wide here next to it that is completely destroyed. And you can see the flexing that's happened going down the road. It's for sale too, I'm sure. Yeah. So, it, And you might say, oh, we had people complain before and say, oh, why would they sell something that bad? Well, you know, we're recycling, aren't we? I mean, somebody may be able to use it and do something with it. Now I know why. Oh, it's trashed out. Yeah. Well, we ain't looking at that one, right? Let's look at this one. We don't have time to show you, but it's full of trash. I mean, literally full of trash. So this is number U26 they have in the window. As we're going in, we're calling out to make sure nobody's inside because you might have vagrants sleeping in here. First thing you want to check is right inside the front door. The floor is cushioned. The, the floor will get wet there. And uh, the, beeping. the beeping noise you hear, y'all, is because there ain't no power in there. People ask me before, why am I uh, aiming at the floor half the time? It's because we're trying to make sure we don't fall through the floor in these old trailers. Uh, this was County of Bamberg, South Carolina. Okay. Um, the, but I was saying by the front door, it gets 
soft. This isn't. This feels fine. The this linoleum's just been thrown down over it though, so it's all loose. Pretty decent sized living room. And then you walk into the kitchen here. Now the way they've seamed this one, there's a full wall on one side. And so you just trim out the vinyl and then you put some kind of transition here. And on the roof, you put a transition oh. piece. What year did you guess? I guess 2000. So 2001. 2001, all right. So more linoleum, usually these have linoleum in them. One of the concerns when you're going down the road moving the thing just to install it the first time is if you've got plank flooring or whatever, think about you're moving down the road and that thing twists a little bit. Well, it's gonna pop all that plank flooring loose and then when you get where you're going, it's all, all, all over the place, you know? So they'd use linoleum flooring. It's easier to uh, keep uh, in place if it moves a little bit. Got pretty, Cheap cabinets, and they're pretty they're pretty damaged just from the water. Somebody cut that one out to put a big refrigerator in it. Yeah, a lot of times you have a problem where the refrigerator is a little shorty. Looks like this one was pretty close, but they needed another inch, so they cut off the very bottom of it so they could slide a different refrigerator in there. There's a hookup for the ice maker. The stove would have been there. The, um, the countertops, you know, obviously this is very dated. Um, you could probably paint it and leave them a little bit longer, but it's down there. The water is just from probably mopping the floor. It's not, uh, it's not the end of the world or anything, but you know, this stuff is not made of solid wood. It's made of particle board. So here's the back door and by the back door, you have your washer and dryer hookup and you have the, this is actually the indoor, uh, heating unit, the furnace. I think it's air and furnace on this one. We're in South Carolina. You have to have air conditioning pretty much. Yep. There's air. Yep. Looks like we may have another way to get to it back in there yeah. too. But um makes it very serviceable. And they put these on everything. Basically yeah. that is a uh uh access panel. Yeah, access panel to get into your plumbing. Does, you said there was a year in there? Oh it's in the it's see if you can open that. Kind of Let's see what kind of service we got. It's a amp. Square D 200 amp service. So it's a nice service. It, it, we're just checking that to see when they stopped um, chintzing out on the, uh, the electrical service. So somewhere in most of these mobile homes, there will be a label that tells you the data manufacturer. I'll just go through this. It was made by Pioneer Housing Systems in Georgia. Um, and then there's a wind zone. It depends on what area you're in. You need different wind loading, wind loads that, that's capable of, of uh, withstanding. And then also they have to worry about snow load. Now it's worth noting too that a lot of times when you buy a used mobile home, they stink. This particular one does not stink. So if they did have dogs and cats, they didn't destroy the place. Would you say that, Donnie? Yes. It actually kind of smells, I can smell uh, cleaning. This one ain't bad. Like detergent, so somebody's been in here cleaning. So let's go this way first, Donnie, and then we'll come back this way. Ooh, that, that's interesting, once we see what's going on in there. This is, uh, this is linoleum flooring, and this is the front door, so this is obviously like a, a living room, but there's another one back here, it appears. So this might, this might actually be I don't know, I guess that's a living room and this is a little dining area here in the kitchen. All right, so coming this way. Double carpet. They've, they've added carpet over it. Um, when you when you buy one of these, you're looking for soft spots in the floor. This one's probably not gonna have that many because it's got central air and heat. Yeah, that's a good point. So they didn't have... Uh... Central air and heat, so they didn't have window units. This This is the old style windows. You've got an inside interior window frame and then an exterior. They're, this at least is single pane glass. Uh, I think that is too. Um, and then the frame is actually just the wall, you know? So it's two inexpensive thin windows. Um, often one of the panes will be missing. Somebody broke it or took it loose and lost it. So this is the master bath. Be careful in there, it's a little soft. It ain't bad, you ain't going through it, but just, it's fine. 
big old jacuzzi tub. Yeah, it is a little bouncy. You can see here some plywood or some OSB. They, they may have replaced that floor at one point. Of course, in the bathroom, it gets wet on the floor a lot of times, so it'll mess that up. You can see it also looks like they may have been doing some creative stuff there with the wall, repairing something, or it may be original. But you got the big jacuzzi tub, toilet, another access panel, big old Hollywood uh, mirror there for your his and her sink. Same thing with these cabinets. Yeah, wet at the bottom. Wet at the bottom. You know, it's just stuff like you're washing your hands and water drips down there, or they mop the floor, or the, the shower maybe splashing out a little bit. Big old stand-in shower. All of this is usable. Someone could move into this house just like this. We would update it a little bit. Um, the, sink, the sinks in these things are plastic. Yeah, these are the plastic sinks. If you saw our other video of the new one, they've moved on now to where they're more like a porcelain. Um, much more... Um, much more rugged. But I gotta tell you, Donnie, I don't think I'd do anything with these floors except, you know, put new cover flooring on them, put new yeah. vinyl or carpet down. I don't, maybe in here, we might have to do a little bit of something. Um, you, you gotta remember too, that it's just temporarily sitting here, so they haven't completely leveled yeah. it and all that. So it you may be there, there's some supports that they need under there that aren't in yet. Yeah, you don't really know till you get them all the way done. Now watch, watch when we step, how you can hear over here. You're hearing that wall flex. See, see how it's all flexing. Now, here you go, Donnie. Here's your chance. <laughs> there it is. So he's always saying that whenever, whenever you move these, it cracks the drywall, which is why they have these strips on the wall. It's because the, this isn't drywall. There's a little, there's a crack between these two panels, and they cover it with a with a strip because when you move it down the road, as it flexes, if it was drywall it would pop the seams loose and it's done that in the this, ceiling. This is water damage. Somebody damn. Someone has repaired that, that right there and patched it back in. But then whenever they moved it, it started, it started tweaking and cracking the seams. So you would have that all through the house. Yeah. If you didn't do it the way that it's done right now with the, uh, with the, the little trim boards. Look right there is another one. They replaced this whole back corner. Yeah, they probably it probably was water leaking. leaking. Remember, leaking. this one's got the new metal roof on it. Let's look in this closet here. Look, it's different ceiling. Yeah, that's how it was originally. It's just a panel with a, with a with a uh, texture on it, and then they put that little strip over the seams. So there's your hot water tank. It's hid in the master closet, which is where they are a lot of times. Um, vent probably goes through the roof, and you need to reattach it whenever you get it where you're going. But a decent sized master closet. Oh, we should show them the doors. This is a thin little door. I mean, that's, an, that's a one inch thick door. That's a little thinner than they usually are. Usually they're more like this, which is like an inch and a quarter, <laughs> a little bit thicker. But this one's just a little bit thinner. We've got a video on our own uh, mobile home that we was repairing. We laid one of these doors down Yeah. and it warped. Yeah, it'll warp just sitting there. All right, so that's the master bedroom. See that, see that's that? the original style ceiling. Um, so we're gonna walk through the kitchen here and it looks like there's another living room in here. So I don't know what this is. Um, not sure what this is, but here's the hall bath. About normal size. It's got the same plastic sink, the same fairly cheap uh, uh, cabinet. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, everything's so cheap. Well, that's why the whole house is cheap. You know, that's why it costs less. They, they, they didn't go top of the line uh, so that they can sell it cheaper. There's the two-piece bathtub unit, which actually, it's all yellowed, but, you know, it looks like it's in good shape. It looks like maybe they've replaced the bathtub, I mean, the toilet at some time. It's actually a pretty nice one. Um, but, you know, a new toilet's 100 bucks. Okay, so we're in this. It's like a den. Which is strange because you got this area, you've got an area here that's plenty big enough for a kitchen table, and then you've got this area. So there's two living rooms. Um, so far, only one bedroom. But again, it's a double wide. So this this room is actually pretty nice. And again, normally, normally in these, all this is rotted out. Yeah. This one don't look bad. This one isn't, and it smell it smells fine. It just you know it smells kind of like cleaning 
uh, some kind of cleaning material. So they've been in here cleaning these bathrooms, probably. If this was mine and yours, Ronnie, that would have to go away. You don't like that? You're afraid of a, a fireplace in a trailer? I wouldn't want any of my tenants starting a fire. Starting a fire inside one of my houses. It's a good point. Um, but, it, but if it was your home and you're an adult, <laughs> you can you can handle it. Now there's big, thick red carpet all through this thing, which proves it's from 2001. Don't look bad for you know what it is. All right, so let's look in this. This is going to be a little hall bedroom. Just the standard size. It's actually a little bigger than the ones in ours, our mobile homes, because ours are single wides. Um, and it's got your standard closet here, which isn't that big. That's about what you usually see um, in the older ones. But it's, this room is fine. What I would do if we were going to rent this to someone is come in and paint everything, get new carpet, new, new flooring, uh, address. When you take this carpet up, you might find some, some wet spots on the floor that need to be replaced. But this is a hell of a room here, really, Donnie. Uh, it's a nice room. I'm kind of impressed. Uh, and then we've got our third bedroom here. You can see you're going to need a little finishing whenever they get it set up. We're looking at the sky up here, <laughs> you know, this, but this thing is livable the way it is. Yeah. You, someone could live in it how it is. It needs paint. It needs trim. But a lot of that's going to be repaired whenever they set it up, you know, um, but you can't really do it until you get it set up. But there's really nothing. There's just wear. There's not really damage. So, so whoever lived in this took care of the place, and uh, that's that. All right, we're going to go outside and walk around it and uh, show you what, what it is here, and then we'll try to see if we can figure out how much it costs. All right, so we're back outside now, and uh, there's a little bit of damage to the vinyl siding, but it's minor, uh, you know. Like, like that up there, a lot of people would see that and go, oh, what in the world? That's nothing. That's a two-foot piece of vinyl siding. I mean, that's you go to Lowe's, and it's four bucks. You buy it in 16 foot pieces. Yeah. You replace that one and that one. Yeah. Put your shutter on there to, for that yeah. end there. So, I mean, you know. And uh, on the front, there ain't much more. Yeah. So, let's walk around and just see what kind of shape it's in. Now, you can see this one compared to the one that we had before, the one that we did a video of before, and it'll give you a good idea of how they updated them over the years. They left the shingles on. Yeah. You can see the shingles under the the tin and of course remember he was saying that there was roof damage in there and this is a 21 i mean 2001 so it's 13 years old you gotta you gotta think that roof's been on there a few years or because they just traded it in so uh the thing the roof leaked in less than 20 years but it could have been a bad installation too but there's how you connect them together the right side and the left side there's power connections power connections here like quick disconnects that's how they do it so quick yep. Just boom. crazy now all this stuff here this is part of the underpinning so all of that whenever you did whatever you were going to do under the trailer to hide the blocking um skirting, that would the skirting pinning whatever, whatever you want to call it. that would uh fix that now here's another one we'll we might do a video on but we'll probably do a video on a single wide but uh at this is just, is. you know, moss growing on the outside of the siding. Power pressure wash that off. Another couple pieces that need to be replaced there. All in all, though, I got to say, this thing's in pretty good shape. You got some, this is where the AC unit was, and you got some stuff here that an electrician would need to look at. But I've never seen that before. if I was buying this house sitting somewhere already where you didn't have to pay the hookup fees and all of that, the, the transport fees, this is a hell of a little mobile home. This thing is in very nice shape. Absolutely. Much nicer than you would expect for a 23-year-old mobile home. They put a P-trap that far down on a kitchen sink. Yeah. So, yeah, some of the plumbers are probably loving this. So there you go, folks. That's, uh, this one's good. that's a nice little mobile home. Let us know what you think down below. And if you haven't seen our other videos, we're walking through several of these. People seem to be enjoying them. And we also walked through on the previous video a double, a brand new double wide so you can see what they're like now. So if you want to see that video, I'll put it right up here. We'll see you on the next one.